get the fuck up. Simon says, get the fuck up. Throw your hands in the sky. What do you think about people not using monoliths nowadays and leaning towards walked out squats? Uh, I really don't give a fuck. Um, you have to, you have to train the way that you're going to compete. So, you know, the statement here is nowadays, and that's making the assumption that 15, 20 years ago, everybody used a monolift and that wasn't true. You still had to walk the weights out in the USAPL or whatever the IPF affiliate was at the time. I mean, it was ADFPA for a while, then it was, it was USPF for a while, then ADFPA, then USAPL. So you've always had to walk the weights out there. I believe in the USPA, you've always had to walk the weights out there. Now in the, the APF, RPS, SPF, IPA, then the monolith's being used. So they've both been used for a, a very long, since the monolith came onto the scene years ago. So to, to get into a debate on which one's better, I think is just stupid and it's a waste of time and it's actually extremely irrelevant because which one's better is going to be the one that's being used in whatever competition you're going to. So if you're going to compete in a competition that doesn't use a monolift, then learn how to walk the fucking weight out. I mean, this is one of my very few, few things drive me nuts anymore. Fucking people's walkouts on Instagram drive me in fucking sane. They, they fucking suck. And you guys, if you use a, if you got to walk the fucking weight out, learn how to walk the goddamn weights out. You know, it's as few steps as possible. Find, find lifters that are advanced lifters that are breaking fucking world records in the squat and look at how they walk their shit out and then try to mimic that. It's not that hard to figure out. You don't take fucking six steps and then shake your leg and wiggle your fucking heel. You, you, you're not gonna get tight that way. You have to get tight when you walk weights out. That's the, the whole reason to walk weights out. And now the, the squat stands fucking tilt in. So you, it's just two steps. I mean, you, it, I wouldn't even really call it a walkout compared to what it used to be. If you only have to take two little steps, then learn how to just take two little steps and stay tight because your setup's gonna determine everything. Everything that happens after you, your setup is critical to the squat. So if you're set up, if you're getting set up chaotically and then you're trying to sit there with weight on your back and get everything tight and set, you've already lost the battle. You know, if you learn how to keep that shit tight and walk out solid, you won't believe the difference it's gonna make throughout your whole squat. So now if you're gonna train for a meet that uses a monolift, you learn how to use the monolift. It's not as easy as people think it is. It's not just a matter of getting there and standing up with it and it's, everything's gonna be good. If you wanna optimize the use of the monolift, you need to learn how to get tight, really extremely tight under the bar before you take it out, which is not so the case if you're gonna walk it out. So whatever you're gonna compete in, train to optimize that. If you don't have a monolift and you're gonna train for a meet that has a monolift, then walk the shit out. Don't go to the meet and try to use the monolift to get it out. Just walk it out at the meet the same way that you do in the gym. It's not that complicated. It's not something that really needs to be a topic of debate. I mean, if people wanna debate stuff, debate how shitty the fucking walkouts are. Um, you, you want to mimic how you compete. So I'll just kind of leave it with that so I don't go into another walkout debate. But yeah, done, done.